Hello everyone. Today in this video I am going to introduce about engineering graphics. The basics of engineering graphics. It is also called technical drawing, engineering drawing or drafting. Also technical drawing or drafting we say. So let's start. What is mean by engineering graphics? So what what is the meaning of engineering actually? engineering so actually the art or science of making practical application of the knowledge that is called engineering and the meaning of graphics is the use of diagrams in calculation and design so in combined the meaning of engineering graphics is to design any object with the help of engineering knowledge that is called engineering graphics and when we talk about history so the engineering graphics had existed since ancient times in ancient times the thousand years before and the very old time people used to show their map to go somewhere and they use how to locate the location how to go somewhere the route some map they use so complex technical drawings were made in with the ancient times so engineering drawings especially requirements of a component or assembly which can be completed complicated standard provide rules for their specification and interpretation so in engineering engineering drive drawings there are some features like geometry dimension tolerance tolerances material and the finish work so these are some important features so we will learn one by one okay and the basics of engineering engineering graphics so here simple cad 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 means computer aided design this is computer aided engineering this is computer aided manufacturing product life cycle so design cad first we go for design cad and then next we go analysis ca computer aided engineering where we do analysis like this okay if it is not good so again we will go for cad for designing if it is good then we will go for manufacturing uh, cam that is final manufacturing okay so for any designing nowadays first we go for design cad we design the model and then we analysis we applied some forces flows some pressure and we come to know the what's the behavior of material if we apply some forces if it is exactly good then we will go for final manufacturing so we are going to learn designing cad okay so some definitions are there a sketching what is a sketching a sketching generally means free hand drawing without using any drawing instruments example sketch the face of human being so this is the free hand sketching let's see so we uh, in this design in this design uh, technical instrument drawing is not used cad software or any other software is not used it is drawing by it is sketched by the hand that is called free hand sketching free hand sketching and what is mean by drawing drawing usually means using drawing instruments that is example draw the chair which is used to sit so this is drawn by instrument that is cad software or some other software to draw okay so you know you can recognize this this is really drawing by which some software and engineering drawing is a document that communicates a 
precise description of part that is dimensions, tolerance and the length everything is with a you know exactly manner so we can go for final manufacturing. So what is computer aided design? In short we say CAD. So computer aided engineering drawing is a file that communicates a precise description of a part with all details wherein they can be easily edited as per requirements of individuals like customize we can modify edit increase the length dimension or anything that is called that that all comes under CAD they are drawn using computer and CAD software so to use CAD software we must use computer with NF processors and CAD software so there are so many CAD softwares and computer stored file generated by the variety of packages can also check for volumes and mass property calculations so for FEA like you know finite element analysis used to analyze the behavior of materials process planning computer numerically controlled CNC machining or high resolution displays in a formal 3D geometric modeling terms so to design CAD actually we need computer and CAD software that's two we must need to design anything by using CAD software objectives in drawing so so that all are the objectives in drawing accuracy the drawings are not useful to the maximum extent if they are not accurate the speed convert time into money that is in industry there is no place for the slow technician or engineer speed is not attained in a hurry it should be with intelligent and continuous work it comes with practice legibility drawings is a means of communication to others and that is should be clear and legible to serve its purpose care should be taken especially in dimensioning and lettering neatness if a drawing is to be acceptable, it should be clean and neat because even a small dust particle can act as the smallest entity as a point. So that's four, like accuracy, speed, legibility and neatness, that all four must become under CAD software while we go for technical drawing. Drawing instruments, traditional tools, so they are some instruments we use in traditional way like you know before CAD software we used wood and mechanical pencils T square or mini drafter compass and dividers protractor eraser scales irregular curves clips boards drawing sheets so we use that all in traditional way to design to draw any anything so they are pencil we use drawing pencil especially you know they design for drawing like sharp conical point and there are some conditions and rules to draw any objects so you know the grade mark here 2h and some other marks are here you know for drawing pencil this is for mechanical pencil drafting pencil leads available in all grades and this is for thin lead mechanical pencil so that uh, are the varieties of pencil you know uh, for drawing pencil that is the application for drawing and the important lines important of lines and its significance it is really very important while we draw anything so lines you know by using lines we can recognize what is exactly they are saying okay so this is the lines are really the communication for drawing like short break line short break lines will be thick and it is freehand and you know here we use like the, like this so it is called short break line long break line so when we want to show the long break line so this is the symbol of long like this one is 
long break line, this is short break line, this is phantom line like this okay, break line and then again long lines, this is fan, phantom line. And this is the application okay, where we use phantom line. Okay. When we will go for drafting to recognize any any draft, any drawing. So, where we there we have to understand okay, what is the use of phantom line, long break line, short break line, stitch line, this is called stitch line, this is called chain line. Okay, when we recognize when we you know to show the a circular so we use this line visible line this is the visible line hidden line so hidden line is used for to internal part holes or internal parts of the body so we uh, we use hidden lines section line so this is called section line if we cut any part so internal part we saw by section line this is this should be thin central line so this is called center line center line is used to show the center of the body dimension line extension line leaders so this is you know this is the line actually like this and this and how much distance it is what is the length of this so this is designed by the central line this is called extension line or dimension line and the last one is cutting plane so when we cut any plane so it is uh, it is used by this line cutting plane or viewing plane lines okay it is shown by this line so these are the importance of lines and where we have used this is the application all are mentioned here okay which lines we used where Next is the point you can see the, here is the mention point we can you know uh, show the point by using this way uh, this way or this way this is the parallel lines this is the 90 degree line here you can see that is called perpendicular lines this is a straight line this is definite line this is indefinite length like you know there is infinite length and this is definite that is the limit there are some limit finite length so how we you know symbolize these lines here this is the perpendicular lines short way we say perp lines this is the arc and this is the free curve spline lines this is vertical line this is horizontal line so we must understand which lines what was the name of different lines point and lines next is complete circle that is the angle any any circle you know which has angle 360 line has 180 degree angles so complete circle a straight angle that is called 180 degree right angle 90 degree acute angle less than acute angle should be less than 90 degree like you know 30 degree 45 degree or less than any angle which is less than 90 degree it is called acute angle obtuse angle any angle which is more than 90 degree which is called you know obtuse angle and the complementary angles that is you know in 90 degree angle there are some other angles are there right you know which is called complementary angle supplementary angles in 180 degree angles there are some other angles which is called supplementary angles and these are the vertex like equilateral triangle the meaning of equilateral triangle is all sides equal all angles equal like you know if we draw so this is called sides this is angle so sides and angles should be equal that is called equilateral triangle Isosceles triangle that is two sides equal and two angles equal like any two this one this one is equal So the symbol of showing equal like this, okay So this two line is equal and Two angles should be equal like this angle this angle equal, but that is called isosceles triangle 
Esquilinear triangle that is no sides or angles equal all you know all sides are different and angles are different also that is called a scaling angle right angle 190 degree angle so any you know like this so one angle must be 90 degree that is called right angle right triangle angle or right angle and you know the theorem of Pythagoras is defined by a b square plus a c square plus c b square that is the side so two sides the the combination of two sides is equal to the third angle that is called pythagoras it is defer, it is defined for right angle right triangle in semicircle assume any point c can be semicircle like triangle a c b triangle a c b this one is the semicircle so these all are the definition for you know circles angle uh, polygons and different triangles names we must remember this we must know okay what is called what is meant by equilateral triangle the meaning of isosceles triangle as scalene triangle or some angles next is quadrilaterals like a square four side equal side for all sides are equal that is called a square the meaning of rectangle is opposite sides equal like you know these two sides are equal and these two opposite sides are equal that is called rectangle and equal sides rhombus have equal sides these sides are equal but angles are different you know different it is not on 90 degree that is called rhombus rhomboid that is opposite sides parallel you know this side and these sides are parallel you will see this side is parallel it cannot meet at the infinite it, it will we go infinite it, it will not cross section that is called you know parallel and these two sides are parallel with some angles okay if it would be 90 degree angle so it becomes rectangle so always rectangle has 90 degree but rhombus rhomboid have sides are equal but different angles so trapezoid is two sides parallel so any two sides see these two sides are parallel okay so this is called trapezoid but these two sides are not parallel it will go and meet somewhere intersect somewhere and trapezium no sides parallel so all sides are unequal you know no sides are parallel that is called trapeziums and triangle you can say this is called triangle three sides square there are four sides pentagon five sides hexagon six sides hep heptagon it is called seven side octagon eight sides so mostly we use you know three sides polygons must have more than two sides more than three sides like you know three or more so at least three sides and at most any sides that is called polygons nine side is equal to nanogon ten side decagon twelve side broadcagons so we must remember triangle to octagon okay for polygons the circles so they are circles you can circumstances is equal to dia into Pi. This is the meaning 3.1416 is the pi. Okay. And dia is like 2 2r. So the perimeter, the circumference is also called perimeter. These are the basics, you know. Perimeter is equal to 2 pi r or pi into d because diameter, diameter is equal to 2r. R is the radius. So, uh, if you want to find out the perimeter or circumference of any circles, you must know the radius or diameter or by using this formula, we can find out circumference or perimeter. Diameter, this is the diameter okay, from the central line, if we you know, measure from the two end of the circle, that is called diameter and half of this is the radius and this is called 
okay which is not comes under you know from the diameter okay it can measure from the any well from here from here that is called chord of the circle and the section of any any line any any circle like this this is called arc half of this circle that is called semicircle okay some section some closed section of any circle that is called segment this is called sector this and this is called angle okay and this is called arc we can say arc and you know the circle has if we divide into four so one so one section we can we can say quadrant any circle which is line which goes you know tangent you know touch any circle this is a circle and it is you know touched the line is touched with a circle that is called tangent and the middle of this circle is called center this is second okay we, we cut any we, we cut with line that is called second this is called concentric circle any circle and other circle also but the center is center is different same for you know any other circles same center with different diameter or different radius it is called concentric circles and you know circles under which there are small circle but you know center is different for this circle center is here and for bigger circle center is different that is called eccentric circle so the concentric circles is different from the eccentric circle we must remember that so this all are the definition of circles what about solids so this is your tetrahedron you know when we say it is called triangle okay but that is surface but when we move the solids so there are some other points okay so it becomes tetrahedron that is four four triangles you can say four triangles one two three one two three and that is the big one that is four four triangles hexahedron that is called cube octahedron eight triangles dot kahedron 12 pentagons so that all are the you know definition of solids so we we have to remember tetrahedron hexahedron octahedron right square right rectangular oblique rectangular okay we, this is come under prisms okay this is called under regular solids prisms also right triangular pentagonal hexagonal this is comes under cylinder right circulars oblique circulars this is the altitude from here to here this is called the center of the circle it is axis these are the pyramids pyramids has vertex the uppermost point is called vertex middle lines is axis and from the base line you know this is called base so right triangular pyramids right square pyramids and oblique pentagonal oblique has some angles it made some angles it is called oblique pentagonals okay so this all are the definition of solids and there are some more solids definition like cones so we design cones like this okay so the middle line it is called axis and this is the circle diameter we can say see, cones has one triangle this is triangle and if we create the circle so one circle and one triangle it makes cones and cones had altitudes and radius this is oblique cones you know which has some angles here in the vertex and oblique circulation which is called you know this is thrustum this is truncated so different cones are there also you know the section of this according to this you know we can say 
we have the different name like oblique circulation that is called frustum and this oblique circulation has truncated. Sphere has axis and it is you know circle actually but 3D okay which is becomes a sphere and this object we call torus okay 3D double uh, concentric circle we can say that is oblate ellipsoid and this is prolate ellipsoid so in engineering graphics we must remember this all definition so if we have cone if we cut from the uppermost it becomes you know like you know we cut uppermost like here so it is the circle we can get the circle if we cut with some angles you know so it gives ellipse if we cut with angles with you know with the base also if we cut with if we cut the base of the circles the cones it gives the parabola and finally hyperbola hyperbola has different you know different definition from the parabola because uh, parabola has four key okay, two four keys and hyperbola ha has different definition of that Mm, axis and foci this is ellipse ellipse has major axis so this is the ellipse and the longest line which is called mm, major axis the smallest line it is minor axis okay and two for two point that is called foci okay and this is the definition of parabola circle ellipse hyperbola and it circles so, so some important lines are there a point represents a location in a space or on a drawing and has no width height or depth that is the definition of point a line is a defined by Euclid as that which has length without breadth a straight line is the shortest distance between two points is commonly referred to simply as line. So we have two lines. If we connect two lines, it gives lines. Two points, we connect two points with you know line, it is it gives you no know, any lines had at least two points. An angle is found by two intersecting lines. You know, if we try to connect if you try to get some angles you must have you know angle two intersecting lines you know here or here somewhere this is angle it makes angle by intersecting two lines a triangle what is triangle a triangle is a plane figure bounded by three straight sides and the sum of the interior angle is always 180 degree so any angles okay right angle okay uh, equilateral triangle sum of these three angles it gives 180 degree always a quad quadrilateral is a plane figure bounded by four straight sides if the opposite sides are parallel the quadrilateral is also a parallelogram is the definition of quadrilateral a polygon definition of polygon is any plane figure bounded by straight lines if the polygon has equal angles and equal sides it can be inscribed inscribed means inside or circumscribed means outside around you know around a circle and is called a regular polygon a circle is a closed curve all points of which are the same distance from a point called a center this is the definition of circle circumference so this is the circumference of this line you know this line is the circumference of the circle refers to the circle or to the distance around the circle this distance equal to the diameter multiplied by pi that is diameter into pi that is the circumference that is also called perimeters okay so now we come to understand the computer added drawing tools so there are so many tools 
are here in CAD software like SOLIDWORKS, CATIA, SOLID Edge, CREO Elements, Inventor, AutoCAD, NX, CREO, so many AutoCADs, uh, CAD softwares are there. So, you know, uh, later we will learn about the SOLIDWORKS. Okay, SOLIDWORKS is really one of the best, you know, CAD software which has already includes um, computer added manufacturing CAE, CAD, CAE, CAM and 3D printing all things are there you know SOLIDWORKS is widely used in the world nowadays SOLIDWORKS but any software we must need computer which has which must have you know good processor hard disk drive enough hard disk uh, space available RAM monitor display resolution DVD drive graphic card operating systems USB port access to internet and email so if we need any you know help so we can connect with SOLIDWORKS or any software agents keyboard or mouse we need mouse we must need okay to draw to design you know, in CAD software and printer we need to uh, take out the final design draft types of engineering drawings so there are the types like geometric drawings geometrical objects rectangle square cube cone cylinder etc are called geometrical objects plain geometrical drawing that is 2d drawing heavy, having only length and breadth it is called plain geometrical drawing solid geometric drawing that is 3d drawing having length breadth and thickness that is cube prism you know recently we just understand about the square triangle and cube prism okay and that are you know defined by two terms two different names like plane geometrical drawing and solid geometrical drawings mechanical engineering machine drawing like mechanical engineering objects machines machine parts etc third one is civil engineering drawings so there are some civil engineering drawings also here Sorry. So, civil engineering objects like roads, buildings, bridges, dams, etc. It comes under civil engineering drawings. And the fourth one is electrical and electronics engineering drawings like electrical and electronics objects, transformers, wiring, register, yeah. and any other electronics drawings like PC boards. Basics information included in a drawing like a view of a part for a design is technically known as projection. So we need to understand what is projected views, cross section or some other you know drawing information. So projected views shows as many sides as needed for completeness like you know if there is any object. Okay. So we have to show from the front side, side, side view left view left view right view front view uh, up view okay so we have to know okay that is called projected views cross section is a view that is good for showing interior features that is called cross section like you know this is the 3d we cut the part if you want to see the interior section so we have to cut that is called cross section table lower right corner with material information part name designers etc and finally we mention in the table dimensions there are the most important and most complicated part of the drawing there is more to it than just the numerical values so we have to understand about the dimensions because there are so many kinds of dimensions to mention in drawing so first is projections. Behind every drawing of an object is a space relationship involving four imaginary things like the observer's eye or the station point, the object, the plane of projection and the projectors also called visual rays or line of sights. So how people will look any objects that is called about projections. Okay. The 
the way of observer eyes are really different okay from the different ways they look so it comes under the projection so we have to project in the way of like you know the people can understand easily the drawing so there are types of projection like multi view uh, exonometric oblique and perspective so they are you know multi views oblique and perspectives are really very important to understand like the front view of objects like you know they are 3d object is there and the observed eye looking from the front side okay this is the dimensions so front side if you see any this object so we only you know imagine in 2d this is you know the front view the front view of 3d object is like this you know so we can see the circles we can see the this part okay and this is the 3d actually if we convert into 2d in the plane paper so we have we can only convert into 2d right so if we convert this 3d plane 3d object to 2d so we have to draw like this circle this part and the part this part the meaning of this solid line is like you know this line and this line okay and this is the center line it means the circle is on the center of this object and this is the width like you know this is the width total width this is the total height and this is the front view actually so this is the way to show any object okay as a front view okay some other views are also there right you know the front view this side left side l side that is left side view right side view and rear view that is the back side view this is a top view and this is a bottom view and how to draw all views into the paper so you can see this is the rear view if we see from the back side you know we can see circles and this big part and th this part we cannot see right from the back side so that's why this is you know this is uh, draw by the hidden line our central line and uh, recently we understand the meaning of lines okay so that is the important of lines so it is a breaking lines it is also called central line or construction line okay or hidden line also called it means uh, it means we are showing any objects from the rear from the back side okay but they are something in front okay so once we show the front side so we can understand like you know this is the front side in front side we uh, you know we clearly see this part we clearly see this part that's why it is drawn by solid lines this is the front this is left side if we see from the this side okay we can see this part okay so we see this part Okay, and this is the hidden line again it means here are something like you know in the center there are something circle but we cannot see from the left side and uh, this they are again the hidden lines okay it means you know there are something these lines and after them these lines are there so many objects are there this side but we cannot see they are something okay so this is the way to show the left side this is the front side right side again we see from the right side from this side we can see uh, this line and you know uh, this line actually so this is the way to show the right side views bottom side from the bottom side this is the bottom side right so from the bottom side we can see this part okay this part and this part like you know this part this cutting part in, you know clearly we can see this part but something is there you know like this part and 
and circle we cannot see but they are something so we have to visualize by hidden line okay so we have to practice more to understand to you know we can recognize okay sometimes we will have only this part okay this part and we have to convert this part this 2d sketch to 3d sketch so if you understand this you know this all views so we can easy to draw solid view like this these views if we have some dimensions you know circle dimensions this dimensions this length dimensions so we can easy to draw you know by using this 2d plane by using this this views to 3d so these are some very important in engineering graphics to understand okay 2d views that is called projector views and 3d views these are the example for six views of house you know if you saw the house front view bottom view rear view top view left side view and right side view some other names are also there right you know and if you saw some you know this views this 3d convert to 2d so we have to show like this we have to draw like this okay and we have to understand okay which is side view which is front view which sides are top views some other examples are there you know for this object this object if we see from the top side it is you know showing clearly top side so it will make the figure like this so this is the top side upper this is the front side we can see this part only okay so we can draw like this this is the front side because we are showing anything from this side front side this is the right side so where is the right side uh, when we see from the this side okay so if you see this object this object from the right side here so the uh, 2d convert it will come like this okay so this is the right side okay and the way of writing is like you know right side right side front and top side is the above this is the way of writing and some position views are there you know this is the 3d objects and if we convert to views like 2d so this is the way to show like this you know this is the top so from the upper side like this top views you know we can see like this this is the front view and this is right side view okay this is right view this is the correct way okay but we cannot draw like this or like this you know like you know uh, this line and this line is not equal this line must be you know uh, this line must be parallel and must be uh, collinear in line this is called you know this line and this line must be um, this line and this line and this line see this line and this line this line so we have to uh, draw any right side view front view any views okay. with alignment with there there must be alignment collinear okay we we cannot draw you know randomly like this like this okay we cannot draw we have to draw with alignment we have some alignment okay so this is the way this is the discipline in engineering drawings so some more examples are there and i have shown so many examples the reason that this is very important this is the front view top and right view okay see front top and right view okay how to draw we can understand okay next is first angle projection and third angle projection so there are two ways to uh, so any objects okay first angle projections has in the first quadrant the object is imagined to be in the first quadrant third angle projection is a third quadrant 
The object is lies between the observer and plane of projection. The plane of projection lies between the observer and the object. So they are the definition. You must remember these two. This is the first angle, and this is the third angle. Okay. So in the first angle, just remember this concentric circle is the right side. That's it. In first. In first angle projection, this circle is the right side. It means third angle projection, it must be opposite side, okay, left side. So once we remember this, automatically we can remember this, okay. So this is the projected of plane is there, okay, and this is the first. If we see from the observers are there, okay, and image is creating from the back side. and you will see this is the observer and objects are creating from the front side and it is showing front side right so which one is first angle projection and which one is third angle projection okay so here we can recognize the first angle projection okay right view always right side left view always left side top view always top view top side and front view is there and bottom is always bottom side so this is this is third angle projection and this is opposite you know uh, this is a front view right side view top view this side this is you know randomly we cannot recognize actually also so this is the first angle projection okay so in the first angle projection always right side view left side left side view right side top view bottom side okay so this is the way of showing okay but third angle projection it is clearly we can say because observer in the front image you know this image is creating in the front so always it is you know on the right like you know right side view right way top view always on the top likewise the third angle projections are this okay once we understand the third, third angle projection we can just reverse in the first angle projection which is opposite to third angle projection so there are so many you know <laughs> categories of projections so no need to remember all but isometric projections and first angle projection and third angle projection that's all these are the important okay these are projected view also showing here perspectives and parallel projections okay so in the perspective we can see you know from the observers it's you know becomes like cone but in parallel we always like into infinite so this the you know the drawing sheets this is the table okay and in table always shows some angle which angles are there first angle projection so we have to understand this is the first angle projection it means you know this is the our right side but there is the image left side this is right side bottom side and top side this and you know by recognizing this picture we can understand okay this is first angle projection or third angle projection if it should be third angle projection so there should be right this should be left this should be top and this should be bottom but it is first angle projection that's why here is the left this is lie right and this is bottom and this is top okay and the way of showing like this is front view this is right view now finally we come to dimensioning that is very important the art of writing the various sizes and measurement on the finished drawing of an object dimensioning format size or functional dimension where it indicates size like length breadth height diameter etc it is called size or functional dimensions location or datum dimension okay this is s you know this is used by s it is the short form we can say l it shows location or exact position of various construction details with objects you know so this is l 
this is the location okay what is the location from here to here what is the location from here to here okay but what is the size of this ellipse that is called s what is the size of this rectangle from here to here s okay but this is called location so there are mainly two dimension formats like you know size or functional dimension and location or datum dimension notation of dimension e so this is the extension line you know this is the extension line we show the dimension this is the dimension line this is called dimension line this is dimension figure okay it means the size we can measure the size the length we put width thickness or anything so, okay and this is the arrowhead this is called arrowhead and you know this is you know the size of this ellipse two holes you know the way of writing any dimension like two holes it means we cannot you know we cannot symbolize here also and here also like this okay because both are equal so we can only you know indicate indicate one ellipse with we can uh, give it the number how many holes are there so two holes and this is the phi phi means diameter okay if it should be r 12 it is mean by radius it is given radius but it is given phi it means this is the dimensions diameters are given so 12 diameter two holes are there means in this object there are two holes leader this is the leader okay this length it should be 30 degree 45 degree of 60 degree okay. and this arrowhead okay any arrowhead like this arrowhead this arrowhead this arrowhead it must be three times of this length okay so we create you know this and this so if this is one so this length should be three okay three times more than this length so this is the way of you know mention the dimensions we must know the notation of all terms the ways of placing the dimension in a series so this is chain it is called chain this is called parallel and what is the difference between these two see this is the figure object from here to here it is 20 from here to here it is 15 and from here to here it is 25 so this divided you know and all all lines is you know mentioned by you know separate 20 15 25 but here to here it is showing 20 and from here to here it is showing 35 you know it means 35 minus 25 it is 15 this is 15 that's why from here to here 15 from here to here it is 60 so we, this is the way of writing you know mention the dimension and you know this kind of dimension it is called chain this kind of dimension it is called parallel some modes are there like you know combined if you measure from here to here so it is start from here right you know from here to here 15 from here to here 30 again from here to here 15 and it is mentioned from here to here 30 okay and total it is 90 okay like 30 plus 30 plus 15 how much 45 and this is 45 total it becomes 90 same as like uh, this is the total 30 okay and this is 30 30 plus 30 is 60 and it must be 30 this one that's why total is 90 this is called progressive like you know 0 to 15 0 to 30 0 to 30 and 0 to 45 and 0 to 16 this is the progressive it start from 0 and it start from here only it mentioned this is the point main point and from here to right side and this is the left side dimension 
and this kind of dimensioning it is called progressive this kind of dimensioning it is called combined we must understand the way of dimensioning the ways of placing the dimensions in a series you know we just you know we just saw four types of dimensions like chain parallel combined and progressive some definitions are there chain dimensioning dimensions are arranged in a straight line parallel dimensioning all the dimensions are shown from a common baseline some baseline is there and it is parallel it goes like this the smaller dimension is placed near the view combined dimensioning chain and parallel dimensions used simultaneous, simultaneously in combined dimensioning we just saw you know this here and progressive dimensioning one datum or surface is selected which reads as zero all the dimensions are referred to that our surface you know? so in progressive this is the datum it is you know select as zero and from here you know all dimensions are given types of dimensioning there are some different types of dimensioning to give the dimensioning you know like align system in the align system the dimensions are placed perpendicular to the dimension line in such a way that it may be read from bottom edge or right hand edge of the drawing sheets this is called align system like you know from here to here it is given s s p and you know this s is like this okay so align to the line you know this line vertical lines align to the horizontal line the mm, symbol is given like p s c this one b this is vertical line and according to this vertical line b is given according to this line c is given like this but here is according to vertical it is a is given like this okay so this is the different with align system and uh, unidirectional system so this line this c b a d or e even in the horizontal lines or vertical lines all symbols are unidirectional means same direction but in align this is not unidirection but it is aligned to this line main line okay so these are the types of dimensions some important rules for dimensions you know all the dimensions necessary for correct functioning of the part should be expressed directly on the drawing every dimension should be given but none should be given more than once okay every dimension should be given but there should not be more than like you know this is the rectangle okay we already given this dimension okay again we will give this dimension from this side it is not good it is not right okay we have to give one dimension once you know, to show any line any object third one is a dimension should be placed on the view where its use is shown more clearly dimension should be placed outside the view as far as possible okay like this we cannot dimension inside the views we have to give outside here mutual crossing of dimension lines and dimension between hidden lines should be avoided also it should not cross any other lines of the drawing an outline or a center line should never be used as a dimension lines a center line may be extended to serve as an extension line okay like um, outline or center line should never be used as a dimension so if you want to give a dimension we should not give this dimension this is a center line dimension center line okay we have to give with solid line like this to give the direct dimension align system of dimension is recommended align system dimensions are recommended always you know dimensions line should be drawn at least 8 mm away from the outlines and from each other which means dimension lines should be drawn at least 8 mm away from the outlines uh, this is the objects and 
if we give the dimension length this so this distance you know should be 8 mm at least the distance between maintain 8 mm from the each other and the extension line should be extended by about 3 mm beyond the dimension line okay so this is the way of writing dimensions when the space is too narrow the arrow head may be placed outside also a dot may be used to replace an arrow head like you know uh, this is the wide so we can give we can write inside of two lines okay but if the two lines are too narrow we can give outside and the way of outside writing you know is like this you can understand okay this is the dimension between this uh, if narrow is here and if one if we want to show this is the 10 and this is 10 okay so we can show like this okay we can show dimension that we can give the dimension like this we can give the dimension like this also okay like it is wide so it is clearly mentioned inside 15 but if the, there is a narrow lines so we can give just outside that arrow and we just mention the number the various methods of dimension different sizes of circles are as follows so if we give the dimensions on circles we can give like this 5 10 that is a 10 diameter so just look look at the uh, arrow sign dimensioning the way of giving dimension this is the 20 diameter this is 20 this is 30 and the way of writing you know the way of writing dimension the way of giving this dimension difference okay you can give like this also like this also like this also like this also arc of circles should be in dimensions by their respective ready so r it means radius it is 8 mm 8 inch or any, anything so, okay there must be mentions all dimensions are in millimeter or inches or some other units this r6 means this arc is 6 mm radius or 20 mm radius this is r3 okay r3 r3 3 mm radius so this is the way of writing also okay on the arc a ready of a spherical surface and a square cross section of rod is shown as below right like this a sphere at 20 a square 24 we can write like this angular dimension may be given as follows so how can we give the angular dimensions like this okay this way also we can give you know this is 20 degree outside this is 25 degree inside uh, length of the cord we can give like this length of the cord length of the arc we can give like this okay so angle we can give like this so this is the way of writing dimensions of the angle the squares circles method of dimensioning of chamfer if we want to give the chamfer dimension we can give you know like this also and like this also see how it is given here 2 into 45 it means you know the meaning of 2 means 2 chamfer is there in this object 1 is this one and 1 is this one into 45 degree it means you know it means the angle is 45 you know if you draw this line if you draw this line so angle between this line and this line between this line this is the okay like uh, this is the 45 angle again if you draw this line so this angle is 45 degree so the meaning of this number dimensioning of tapered surface so if we this here is a tapered object so we have to keep dimension like this this is the you know a small a small length okay so always taper is like this is right so this is the small that's why we give we can symbol by small h if this is the capital dimension we can keep the capital h and this is the length from here to here okay so this is the length 
we can give total length 1 is to 20 is you know uh, this is the symbol by given this size ok and slope or taper is equal to capital H minus small h divided by L we can find the slope ok now CAD capability checklist so now again we move to the computer as a design software capability what CAD software can do so the CAD software can do draw construction lines at any convenient spacing through any points at any angles and create tangent lines to one or more arcs draw any types of lines such as visible center hidden or section draw circles and arcs of any sizes with given data perform cross section hedging within specified boundaries establish a scale calculate a list pertinent data of graphic construction such as actual create a group of geometry figure editing or copying relocate drawing elements to any new positions edit all erases delete lines arc any things we can do when modify the objects make and make a mirror image create symmetrical forms perform associative or data unit dimensioning label drawings with notes and create titles blocks and wheels of materials save the entire drawings or any part for use other on other documents and in other formats create pictorial form tree view drawings create orthographic views retrieve and use draw drawings it means CAD softwares are capable to do all kinds of dimensioning all kinds of technical drawings below materials you know creating editing modifying deleting anything can do okay that are the capability of CAD software so that's all about the engineering graphics thank you very much